And if we've done everything right, then when I press this start button, then the motor should start. And when we press the stop button, it should stop without any ladder logic code. I've been playing with this Micro 850E PLC, and this is the first time I've got to play with it. And the big thing that makes it different than the typical Micro 820s and Micro 850s that I've been using is that it can do Class 1 Ethernet I.O. messaging. And in layman's terms, what that Class 1 messaging means is that in Studio 5000, we can have Ethernet devices in our I.O. configuration here. And we've never been able to do that in Connected Components Workbench, but with the Micro 850 50E and the Micro 870E, we can do the PowerFlex 525s, the PowerFlex 523s with the Ethernet adapter, and we can do generic Ethernet modules, and that's the game changer. Let's give this a try. Let's create a new program, and under controllers, I'm going to go to Micro 850, and then this L50E, and I have a 2080 L50E 24 QBB. I'm going to select it and add to project. And here under Ethernet, first I'm going to go ahead and put my IP address in because I forget to do that half the time. And inside of Ethernet, we have module. And here we can add modules. And the type here, I'm going to use a PowerFlex 525 EE net. And that is a built-in Ethernet into it. And I'm going to call this my drive. And its IP address is 192.168.1.192. And you do have to specify the major and minor revision here. Now, I haven't tried not putting this in, but the easiest way to find it is just go to your start menu and type Factory Talk Network Links Browser. And then we can right click the drive, Device Properties. And right there it is, 7.001. I'm going to enter that in. And in my case, I do have a 110 volt half horsepower drive. OK. And that should be it. Let's download this program. And we'll put it into run mode. But there's one more step. We also have to configure two parameters typically in the PowerFlex 525 to make it be able to be controlled over Ethernet. And those are P46 and P47. And I'm just going to hit the escape button all the way out. And then I'll hit the enter button. And that highlights the B. And we're going to go up to P. And then I'm going to go down to 46. And this needs to be on 5 for Ethernet. Then P47 needs to be on 15 for Ethernet. And now we're going to go into our global variables. Notice we didn't even create a program for this one. We have no code in here. And if we go down, we have drive colon I and drive colon O. And inside the O, we have logic command and frequency command. And if we open up the logic command, there are descriptions over here. So I'm going to drag this comment column right over here. And we see start and stop. And that's the big one here. But we also need to put a command of frequency in. And I'm going to put in 20 hertz. And then when I check the start button, my motor starts. And if I uncheck the start button and check the stop button, then my motor stops. That means that all the lessons we have done with the Compact Logics PLC for the PowerFlex 525 drive now work with the Micro 850E. Now, if you don't have a Micro 850E or Micro 870E, don't sweat it. We have videos on how to do it with the user-defined function block that you can download from Rockwell Automation and messaging instructions. And I've created this playlist right here with them.